have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you failed to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck. The die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this... The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the Agent of Shadow, the Half Moon for the Agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the Agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now. Your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. Nocturnal isn't one for... She influences our luck. You're closer... The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal Dick again. You have like a novice picking an impossible lock, or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket. It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal's will. Does she exact payment? The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. of this nightingale. Your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my lord? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll end 
embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye.